I love a horror movie that deals with disordered behaviour and one of my personal favourites is the movie Eats from 2014, but Are We Not Cats from 2016 is the definition of a horror movie about disordered behaviour because this movie is about two people who start a brand new relationship who both have their own separate disorders that they are dealing with. We're talking while they are self-soothing themselves, they are simultaneously causing the other person to spiral out of control. But if you don't know anything about Are We Not Cats from 2016, let me quickly fill you in. Are We Not Cats from 2018 is a horror romance. A young man seeks a new beginning after losing his job, his girlfriend and his apartment in the same day. His plans soon get diverted when he meets a museum woman who shares the same strange habit, an inclination for eating hair. If you're new here, I go by Hordes, and if you're not new, welcome back! I talk about horror movies here on my channel on Mondays and Fridays, but as always when it comes to watching movies that I have never seen before, I am now going to go and watch Are We Not Cats from 2016 off camera. So that way if you too want to watch this movie about people with some very strange behaviour, nothing will be spoiled for you because nobody wants to watch a movie that you've just watched somebody else watch from start to finish and I keep it spoiler free here on my channel because nobody, and I mean nobody, likes spoilers. Why don't you try on that lovely wig? Dear Plex, two and a half minutes worth of adverts every ten minutes is too much and it's not like I had another option because the only place that this is streaming here in the UK is on Plex. To put this into perspective it took me an hour and 45 minutes to watch an hour and 18 long minute movie because that's how many adverts there were. Also apologies for the lighting, believe it or not as I am filming this, it is 3.30 in the afternoon here in the UK and you would think I lived in Silent Hill considering how dark it has suddenly got. We get another science lesson today and I won't lie, I love doing these in my videos. If there is an opportunity for me to sneak in a how something works or the science behind a movie, I'm gonna sneak it in. So today you're getting a lesson on the two impulse control disorders that are featured in Are We Not Cats? Science. Are We Not Cats deals with trichotillomania, which is a hair pulling disorder, and trichophagia, which is a hair eating disorder. And while these two are often linked together, they are not always mutually exclusive. Estimates range between 48 and 58% of people who have this actually bite or chew hair, with only 4 to 20% of people actually digesting and swallowing hair. Now, what actually happens when you chew hair is the human body cannot actually digest it and this causes a buildup of a human hair bezoar in the stomach. Now this can be life-threatening if it develops into something known as Rapunzel syndrome which is where the hair then extends into the digestional tract. There are pictures somewhere and it is gross as hell. The only way to actually deal with this condition though is surgery and yes, this can very much be a life-threatening condition when it gets to this degree. Trichophagia occurs instinctively within multiple species of the animal kingdom because they actually have the ability to digest hair properly and the perfect example for this because they do it when grooming themselves is cats, hence the name of the movie. The lesson is over. This is absolutely a slow burn movie and from start to finish we're talking slow burn movie. It isn't until around the 35-40 minute mark that Are We Not Cats actually starts to reveal some of its cards. There aren't that many cards to reveal if I'm going to be honest. But if you are going to watch this movie and you are enjoying it, stick with it because when it gets to around the hour mark we do get a little bit of actual medical horror which I wasn't expecting but it is a nice touch. But the horror in this movie mostly comes from the fact of it's a look at what people will do to themselves when they have an impulse control disorder where they basically lack the ability to be like this is potentially harming me in some way and could end up being potentially fatal so this is either going to work for you or it isn't going to work for you and I will explain later who I think this will be more effective on because I am one of those people. It is also an incredibly difficult plot to describe because Eli and Anya are both simultaneously 2D and 3D characters and I will try and explain this to the best that I can. 
Besides the fact that they both share the same impulse control disorders, there really isn't that much that I can tell you about these characters. Their defining thing is their disorders. The only thing that I can tell you about Anya is that she has a job and Eli loses his job in the first five minutes along with his girlfriend in his house and he gains a van. Who are these people? Onto who I actually think this movie will work for though, if you have an impulse control disorder, you will relate to this movie. And in fact, 1.2 to 8% of the world's population has some kind of impulse control disorder. And I myself actually have two of them. I have the nail biting disorder, which I can never remember the name of, so I will insert it somewhere. And I also have dermatophagia, which is the condition where you bite the skin around your nails and your fingers. I actually developed both of these in childhood, thanks to childhood trauma as a, as like a way to cope. So when I am stressed or I am anxious and things have gone horribly wrong, I will shred my nails for fun to the point where the skin around my nails is more like a callus where it is hard and it is scarred and it has no feeling think like when somebody plays a guitar for a long period of time and they develop calluses on their fingers to the point where they can no longer feel the strings and it doesn't hurt anymore because there is now a thick buildup of skin on top of the nerve endings i've previously said that other movies are the hardest thing that i've had to review but this is easily the hardest thing that I've had to review because besides what I've mentioned, there really isn't much else that I can talk about in Are We Not Cats? Like, the scenery in this is very artsy. It is very, like, failing artist who lives in a loft apartment who is struggling to pay rent and makes potato stamp artwork, thinks that they're gonna be a millionaire and smells like patchouli. Like we've all met somebody who fits that actual description, like crystals everywhere. They have like a mobile made out of random crap that they found. Like that is the aesthetic of this movie. I'm an artist. It is certainly a unique movie and I have never seen anything quite like Are We Not Cats, but I also wouldn't say that this was necessarily a horror movie. I would say that this is a drama movie with a romance movie with the occasional bit of horror thrown in. The, the hour and five minute mark is where the horror comes into this. Unless you are one of those people who is rather judgmental of other people and likes to, you know, point out that you are superior because your habits are nowhere as weird or your behavior is better then you'll get something out of this movie as well. But I am not that person. Like, you do you, I'm gonna do me. We all have weird behaviors. So suck it up and sit down, take several seats. Stop it, get some help. In the end, I am actually gonna give Are We Not Cats from 2016 a 2.5 out of five stars. Simply because I like the behavior part of this plot, but besides the behavior part, they're really isn't that much plot here. It's two people who just happen to meet each other because of bad circumstances and happen to share that same condition. I am also going to blame Plex for this rating because oh boy did I get far too many adverts. It is already a slow burn movie to begin with and Plex turned this into the most stop start movie that it was oh it was so plex sort yourself out so there you have it my initial thoughts and my review for my first time watching are we not cats from 2016 which was certainly a unique movie with a viewing experience that i do not wish anybody to have to sit through if you've also seen this movie i would love to know what your thoughts and opinions are on it down in the comment section down below and if you are interested in watching this movie i will leave a link to justwatch.com like i always do in my description bar so you can find out where it is streaming in your country on any platform that isn't plex is my recommendation if you would like to know where else you can find me though, I am also over on Instagram and Letterboxd at Hordes of Horror, where so far this year I have watched over 170 different horror movies, so there's plenty I haven't talked about right here on YouTube. But speaking of YouTube, I'll be back on Friday with another solo movie review. I have no idea what it's gonna be yet, but my 2024 back catalogue at the moment is insane, so it very well may be a 2024 release that I haven't watched yet. So until next time, bye. <laughs>